This presentation is called Division with Racks and Tubes, number six, but really it's exercise number three, part C. So estimating each digit of the quotient using the material only as a guide to verify our answer. So that's just a fancy way of saying we're now going to be doing this work only on paper, not with our boards. We're gonna use the material to help check our answer. So let's begin. So we're, we have 7,800s right here. So I'm going to ask myself, how many times can this three, right here, three, my three unit Skittles, uh, ha, um, how many times can the seven thousands share out with my three tens? And also, how many times can my eight hundreds share out with my two unit Skittles? So in my head, I'm going to ask this. Okay, well, my three tens will be able to house six of these thousands. My, and because they can house six of these thousands, there'll be 1,000 left over, meaning 1,000 will go into this cup. So I will have 1800s in this cup. And therefore, yes, I will be able to definitely share out at least um, the same number as the tens board, which is two. So I'm going to write that down. So because three can share out with seven, or because seven can share out with three two times, my hundreds can also share out with my two, two times. So I'm gonna write a two up top, like that, Ooh, like that, okay? Now I'm gonna check that and write the answer down below, okay? Or you can say three times two is six, and two times two is four right? And we can take that and subtract that. So let's see. Let's share that out and make sure. Yep, it looks like we were able to share out six of the thousands, one left over, and a total of four of these hundreds. Whoops. Okay, four left over. So I'm going to put this in here and shift, okay? So how many did we use up? 64, look at that, 64. Because three times two is six and two times two is four. So let's clear, dump, shift. Clear. and I just dumped and then I shifted. 1,800. So I need to put my thousand away and exchange it for 10 hundreds. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. And write down what I have. So I have. 14 hundreds. So I'm gonna put one, four, and I'm bringing my seven into the mix. So I'm bringing down that seven, okay? Now I need to ask, can three go into my 14? Or can 14 of these hundreds be shared out with the three? Tens, Skittles. Yes, they can be shared out, how many times? Four times, yes, four times. And what is four times three? 12. So 
there will be two, since there's 14 hundreds in here, there will be two, there should be two left over that will go into this cup. Okay. All right. Let's continue. So four times three is 12. Well, then how many times can two, will there be enough for two to share out four times? Most definitely, especially if we put two hundreds in here. So I'm gonna put a four up here and we're gonna do that multiplication. So we're kind of, uh, we're hypothesizing what's gonna happen. We're making educated guesses. So th four times three is 12. So I'm gonna put a 12 right here. Whoop. 100, 20, and then four times two is eight. Okay, so, and then let's take away. All right, so seven take away eight, we can't do that. So we have to borrow. 17 take away eight, it gives us nine. So we should have 19 used up on the board. I'm sorry, 12 used up on the board and eight. So let's do that. Make sure we have 12 hundreds that get used up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh, 10, 11, 12. Yep, definitely 12 got used up on the board. Now let's see if eight tens get used up. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh-oh, seven. So we have to borrow one of these hundreds and exchange it. Always do your count, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. It didn't have enough, so ten. There we go. All right. Perfect. So we used up 12 hundreds, there it is right there, and eight of the tens. Good. So let's see what's left in our cups. I should have 100 and, yep, nine tens. Good. So let's clear dump shift and do the next part. So clear. Dump. Oh. <laughs> Dump. Shift. Okay. So that's one hundred ninety, right? And five units. I'm bringing down. Can you see that? No, nope, you can't see that. Okay. 190 and the five units right here. So I just brought that down. So I'm going to exchange that 100 for 10 tens. 100 is the same as 10 tens. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 10 tens I exchanged. All right, now I'm ready to share out. But just like before, we're gonna do it on the paper first. So how many times can three go into that 19? Yes, if you guessed six, you were correct. So I'm, I'm guessing, educated guessing, that six of my, uh, underneath each 10 Skittle, there will be six, enough to share out six tens, and that, will be, that will take up 18. So that means there'll be one left over for this five to dump in. So can three, or can 15 then be shared out with three? Yes, it can. So I'm gonna write,
excuse me, someone just walked past the room. I'm, I apologize. So three can go into 19 <laughs> six times. And can two be shared with that 15? Yes, it can. Two can be shared with that 15 definitely six times. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say six times is what I think. It's going to be able to be shared out. And six times three should give me uh, 18 right here. So let's try this. Okay, let's see if we can do this six times. There we go, and I have one left over. All right, so definitely was able to share. Now let's see if I can do that over here. I'm gonna need to borrow one. 110 is the same as 10 units. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Share out. Yep, I was definitely able to share out six times. So that works. So now we need to write what we used up. Well, from all this work before, we know we used up 19, 192, okay? So we used up 192, I'm writing that down. And left over is our remainder of three, okay? So that is how you do this work on paper. You bring your beads over and then do um, use your use your your mental math to discover or to decide how many will it will be able to share out. All right, all right. Good luck. Have fun.